Okay, so they want us to use the trapezoidal rule for this data here. However, we cannot use the trapezoidal rule because these intervals are not even. That has a width of 4, that has a width of 3, and a width of 2. They're not uniform, so trapezoidal rule cannot be used. So let's resort to a different method. Before we do that, recall from geometry uh, the trapezoid. The area of a trapezoid is one half the height, the altitude, times the sum of the bases. Okay? That's the area of the trapezoid. So let's take this data and let's model it. So we have 0, 9 right there. We have 4, 6, 4. And then 6 would be like right here. Then we have 7, 4, 5, 6, 7. 4 would be like right there more or less. And then we have 9, 3. And as it turns out, we can make trapezoids from, from this data. So like that, like this. And then the other trapezoid, like that, goes down, like this one, this one. So th they're sort of tilted on their side, right? They're 90 degrees rotated, doesn't matter. Let's find the area of the three trapezoids, add them together and make some finishing touches. So the first trapezoid, the area of it would be well, one half, and then the height is this here. Because remember, you're looking at this like that. So this height is four, essentially from zero to four, times B1 plus B2, the sum of the bases. This base is nine, this base is six, essentially nine and six. Plus, let's set up the other trap. So one half, and then what's the height of this trapezoid? That's what, three units, because it's from four to seven, times the sum of the heights, it'd be six plus four, is it? Six plus four. And then we have the last trapezoid, one half, this height is of course two. The sum of the bases would be, what is it, four plus three, So we're looking at, goodness, what would this be? 15 times 2 is 30, plus 10, 30, half of 30 is 15, uh, 7 is just 7. Add these up, that would give you back 52. However, recall that the initial uh, gallon amount in the tank at t equals 0 was 15. So uh, add 15 to this and that gives you 67 gallons in the tank at the nine minute mark. One last remark before I conclude. Uh, these points, as I saw these points, that, are they collinear? If these points were collinear, then you could have just done, you could have treated this as one large trapezoid, but I don't know if they're collinear or not. You would have to examine the slope between these points, but you don't have to do any of that, just play it safe. Find the area of the trapezoids individually, add them together, and respect any potential initial conditions. All of this, however, uh, would have been brushed aside, and we would have used this if these intervals had been uh, uniform in width.